open mine next here. Oh, it's a very thank special you, Don. present thank for you. you. Oh, yes, really, very special. You. Oh, good. I hope it's something I can use, Don. Oh, peanut. You love it, don't you? Sure. Oh, this one's from Ann. Hey! Thank you, but it's really nothing. All right, we'll see. Now, let's see now. I hardly wait. She's right. It's really nothing. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Here's something to put in it. Oh, you got a real one. Oh. oh. Thank you, Anne. I can't tell you how grateful I am. No one else I know ever gave a party for her agent. You're my agent. <laughs> Please. Dum, da, da, dum, dum, dum. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is now, the star of our show, that great old comedian turned agent, making his first comeback, and certainly not his last, Mr. Sandy Stone. Sandy! Hey! 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 Come on, Sandy, do your own act. Come on, you're done. Come on, you're done. Come on, you're done. Honestly, that was a whole other world, and it's not that easy anyway. I used to work with a partner in the audience. All right, if you really don't want to. I'll tell you when I really don't want to. <laughs> I'll need a partner. <laughs> How about that girl? This girl? <laughs> pleasure to present the star of our show, having just completed a recent engagement at Radio City Music Hall. And Usherette gave him his ring back. Ah! Uh, all, right, all right. Without any further ado, may I present the star of our show, Sandy Stone. Let's hear it for Sandy Stone. Hey, baby. Let's hear it for Sandy. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. Thank you very much, Don. Thank you. Now, you can sit down because I work alone. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to say I'm delighted to be here, but I don't lie. <laughs> Actually, I'm sorry I'm late, but I was held up in the subway. Like this. <laughs> and uh, speaking of New York, a funny thing happened the other day. A gentleman was sitting on a little box in front of his jewelry store, when all of a sudden a great big trailer truck came by. From the back of the trailer truck, an elephant came out. With his trunk, he smashed the window of the jewelry store and sucked up all the jewelry in the whole store, got back up on the trailer truck, and drove away. Well, this little man was astounded. He couldn't believe his eyes. Went to the phone, called the police, and he says, Hello, I'd like to report a robbery. I was robbed. How? I'll tell you how. A trailer truck came up in front of the store. An elephant came out of the back with his trunk. He smashed the window of the jewelry store, sucked up all the jewelry, got back up on the trailer truck, and he drove away. The police said, wait there, we'll be right over. They came over, and the place was a shambles. They just couldn't believe their eyes. The policeman said, will you tell us one more time what happened? He said, of course. <laughs> a trailer truck came up in front of the store. A big elephant came out, and with his trunk, he smashed the window of the jewelry store. He sucked up all the jewelry with his trunk, got back up on the trailer truck, and he drove away. And the policeman said, what kind of an elephant was it? He said, I don't know what kind of an elephant it was. It was an elephant with tusks and a trunk. Well, the policeman said, was it an African elephant or an Indian elephant? The fellow said, what's the difference? Well, the policeman said, an African elephant has very large ears. An Indian elephant has little small ears. The fellow says, I don't know. He had a stocking pulled over his head. <laughs> uh, 
would you mind being quiet while I'm telling a joke? Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't know those were the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, do you always interrupt comedians? <laughs> oh, no, sir. I would never interrupt a comedian. <laughs> Get this ashtray and, and clean it out. Look at this. All of a sudden, I have a pot. <laughs> All right. Come on up here. Come on. Come, well, ladies and gentlemen, come on. Let's get her up. Come on. I don't want to cast any aspersions on your intelligence, madam, but on your way over here, it's left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Good. Very good. Now, would you mind stepping a little closer, please? Have you had your shots? <laughs> funny, funny. You know, you're very bright, witty, and intelligent, and I like you. Does that surprise you? No, not at all. Opposites attract. <laughs> good. Very good. But if you don't mind, I'll tell the jokes. Oh, fine. As soon as you start, I'll be quiet. <laughs> not eating. I'm still full from last night. What a party. You were terrific. Oh, I was not. Sandy was one that was so great. Wasn't he great? He really was. But you, you were superb. And... Have I got great news for you. Hi. Hello, Sandy. Listen to this. I've got you a great job this Saturday night. You're kidding. Where? Hello, Sandy. Massapequa. Massapequa? Talk about off-Broadway. Hello, Sandy. What's in Massapequa? What's in Massapequa? The annual installation of offices of the Massapequa Golf and Country Club. That's what's in Massapequa. Showtime. What am I going to do there? That sounds like a job for a nightclub act. Oh, no, sir. And come on, it's $200. $100 for you and no commission. Since me, your agent, is me, your partner. Sandy, you actually booked us into a job as a comedy team? We were great last night. Did you hear those screams? I haven't heard laughs like that since I started that act. Think it over. I've got to get back to the office. Call me later. Okay. Hello, Don. <laughs> Congratulations. I don't want to be in a comedy team. So tell him. Oh, Donald. Oh, Donald is good for me, but what are you going to tell him? I don't know. I just know he's got his heart set on being a comic again. Then why hasn't he tried? Because he just hasn't had the confidence before. But now with me as his partner, I, I guess I could really help him. What do you think? I think you should listen to me. I think you should take my advice. And I think I should pitch a no-hitter in the World Series, which is about as likely as you listening to me and taking my advice. So it's entirely up to you. But I get to go to Massapequa with you. Saturday night. You got us theater tickets Saturday night. It's okay, sweetheart. That show will run for a year. Your act, Saturday night may be it. <laughs> Here, Tom, I got you some coffee. Oh, thank you, honey. It's okay. How is it? If I hadn't eaten lunch, it would be awful. Since I was starved, it's just terrible. Well, it looks good. Salmon croquettes is the only thing that keeps chicken from being the food I hate most in my life. <laughs> oh, this is it. This is it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 15th annual gala of the Massapequa Golf and Country Club. <laughs> and now, on with the fun galore. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, a wonderful comedian who has been seen on all the major television shows. Sandy wrote himself some introduction. The very funny Sandy Stone. Oh. Massive Pequa Golf and Country Club. Great memories. I used to belong to a golf and country club. I didn't golf, though. I joined a country. <laughs> uh, how many people here at this golf and country club play country? None, right? That's what was so great about it. You see, I was the only one at my country club who played country. You see, to play golf, you had to get up four, five, maybe six o'clock in the morning. Country starts at three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> there was one hang up, though. You see, you can play golf all by yourself. To play country, you need 30 or 40 million people. <laughs> I don't think I had more than three or four good games in my whole life. <laughs> miss, miss, could you hold it down till I'm finished getting my laughs? Nobody lives forever, sir. <laughs> cute, cute. Speaking of traffic, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I had a lot of trouble getting here tonight. Our luck, you made it. <laughs> I think they really liked it. You were a smash. Where's Sandy? He's backstage talking to some ladies. Oh, Donald, I'm so happy for him. So am I. You're pretty terrific, you know that? Oh, he was the whole act. He wrote my lines and everything. You know, I think he's not going to be too frightened to go out on his own again now. Maybe so. 
ask her. And you were great, oh, just thanks. great. I was so proud of you. Great. Well, I couldn't have done it tonight without you. Or Wednesday. Well, or Wednesday. <laughs> the lady I was just talking to, she just hired us to entertain at her ladies' auxiliary banquet this Wednesday. We're in, and we're on our way. <laughs> I was salmon croquettes. Oh, Donald, I'm sorry. Can't you get yourself a job at a Chinese wedding? I promise this is the last one. An Italian bar mitzvah would be good. One night with the anti-chicken league would be a bonanza. You don't have to come with me to every one of these, you know. Last Wednesday, you were at the ladies' auxiliary. Saturday, it was the League for New York Women Voters. Tonight, it's this thing. If I didn't come with you, I wouldn't see you at all. Uh, miss, some warm rolls, please. What? Some warm rolls. Oh. Oh, will you see... Donald, don't... Tell him I'm not a waitress. It'll spoil the whole act. I'll take care of this like a real waitress. Sir, mm -hmm. this isn't my station. <laughs> well, here you go again, Frick. Frack is coming out. Will you remember me in five years? Of course I will. Will you remember me in ten years? Certainly. Will you remember me in 25 years? Definitely. Knock, knock. Who's there? You forgot me already. <laughs> Come right up here, miss. That's right, that's right. Oh, that's quite an outfit you're wearing. Are you supposed to be a waitress? Good guess. Are you supposed to be a comic? Oh, funny, funny. May I have your name, miss? Take it. You're not doing too well with your own. Hello? Hello, Shirley. Yeah? Shirley, you sound terrible. Uh, yeah, I have a cold. Oh, that's terrible. What are you doing for it? Well, you know, I'm uh, relaxing and resting and drinking my fluids. Uh -huh. Well, that's not enough. Look, I'll come right over and I'll bring over some nasal spray and cough drops and some vitamin... magazines? Magazines, yes, of course. Don't talk anymore. Rest your voice. Uh, let me talk to Sam. Sam who? Your husband, Sam. I don't have a husband. Isn't this Shirley from Shirley and Sam? This is Shirley, but I don't have a husband. <laughs> oh, I'm terribly sorry. I must have the wrong number. Does that mean you're not coming over? <laughs> have enough? That's plenty. I'm sorry, honey. Everything tastes like chicken. <laughs> what am I going to do about Sandy? Remind him that you're an actress. You have to decide whether you want him for your agent or your partner. Well, actually, he's doing pretty good at both. I've made more money in the past two weeks in this comedy act than I did all year as an actress. Then make up your mind. Either you want it for a career or you don't. Oh, you know I don't, Donald. But Sandy really needs me. Honey, look, I don't mean to make you sound unimportant because you've been great in the act. But the truth is there must be a thousand girls in this town that can do that act with them. Well... Sure, at least a hundred. Anyway, fifty as good as me. Maybe one better. You yeah, can call her and tell her to meet Sandy. Yeah, I guess you're right. He really does have to find another partner. It's just that he he seems so secure and so safe and and comfortable with me. That, that's it. Why didn't I think about it before? It's so simple. First, we find Sandy another partner, then you can adopt him. Donald, I'm gonna leave it to you. Do you want me to go to Sandy tomorrow and just say I'm gonna leave you all on your own? I'll do it. Good. Oh, fine. That easy. That easy. He's a big boy. Okay, I guess you're right. How does this sound? Sandy, you're doing fine now. The time is right. You're on your feet. Get yourself another partner. That sounds perfect. Well, I'm glad you like it. You say it tomorrow to him, just that way. Honey. Okay, okay. I'll do it. But as of Saturday. What's Saturday? Nothing. Friday night, he got us our first really high-paying job in the Catskill Mountains. A hotel. What do they serve? Donald, it's a hotel. You can have anything you want. Fine, I can understand that, but that's it? That's it. Okay, what do you want to do now? Should we watch television or what? Let's what? <laughs> Just be patient. I'll try and find you something. Right. Okay, so long. I wish I could get him something. Anything, a car wash, a gasoline station, something. Well, who else called? Danny Harris. Uh-huh. Joanne Finley of Benson and Harper. What did she want? They're making a commercial for Choo Choo Gum. They want a girl. Bright, young, pretty. An Anne-Marie type. An Anne-Marie type? Who said that? You or them? 
me from their description. Oh. Then they said it. They agreed with me. Oh. They're going to be shooting it a Friday. Hold it. This Friday? Yeah. This Friday, Ann and I are doing an 8 o'clock show at the Havenhurst Manor in the Catskills. Well, if she shoots that commercial all day, you'll never make it. There's no way she can do both? Not unless they finish shooting by 5 o'clock. And nobody ever does that. Yeah. Shall we forget about her? I can make up a list of other girls. I guess you better. Yes? Uh, Doris, hold up on that list. Uh, call Ann and ask her to come over here. Right. Hi. Hi, partner. What's up? New jokes for Friday night? A couple. I want to talk to you about this Friday night and this whole comedy act that I got you involved with. You're firing me. And tell me honestly, have you been doing this for me or do you really enjoy it? Well, you know, I... Honestly? Sandy, it's been lots of fun. Honest, I mean, doing those jokes and getting in the outfit and everything, and, and it's paid well and... But it's not like getting a part or making a commercial, is it? <laughs> no, it isn't. But those kind of jobs just haven't come up lately. Why? Because I have an offer for you on a commercial this Friday. <gasps> oh! Oh! Friday! Oh, my gosh. Will I be done in time for us to get up to the Catskills? Probably not. <sighs> Maybe you can call the hotel and see if they can switch us to another night. That's a possibility. Well, why don't you call them now and see? I'll call them later. Oh. Well, well you, you'll call me and, and let me know then. Sure, sure. Oh, good. Okay, then. Right. Uh, listen, Sandy, if... If they can't switch it, forget the commercial. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Okay. Okay, right. Uh, call me. I will, don't worry. Yeah. Everything's taken care of. Bye. Okay, bye. the week just like that? Oh, that's fantastic. That means I can do the commercial Friday, right? Oh, Sandy, thanks. Oh, that's great. Okay, bye. Just catching up on some ironing. <laughs> Wait till I tell Sandy what that director said about me. That I was great, that he never did a commercial so quickly, and that I was the fastest actress he ever worked with. Quickest. Quickest. <laughs> I'm going to have some proud agent. Hello, Sandy Stone, please. Doris? Hi, it's Anne Marie. Is Sandy there? Where is he? Well, I thought he moved that date. Oh. Uh, thanks. Bye. Huh. Donald, he went up to the Catskills. He couldn't move the date. He went up there all by himself. Why didn't he tell you? Because he didn't want me to lose the commercial. You see, Donald, he's been worth everything I've done for him. All you've done? What about me, Colonel Chicken? What time is it? It's five minutes to four. It's about a two-hour drive. It'll take you about an hour to get ready. Yes, we can make it by 8 o'clock, just barely, and certainly I'll drive you. Why do you ask? Ah, uh, Donald, thank you. We better not fool around. We haven't got time. I'm out. 
Did anybody see a girl's mouth? It was right here. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy. Drink up. We got a wonderful show for you in a minute. <laughs> yeah, I'll kill him. I'll kill him. That's it. Yeah. And then when I'm done killing him, I'll give him such a hit. <laughs> enjoy. Drink, drink. It's good. We got a great show for you tonight. <laughs> I'll give him such a hit, such a knock, a clobble. Oh, where can we find Sandy Stone, please? Sandy Stone? Please, Sandy Stone. Why, what happened? What happened? She wants to know what happened? I'll tell you what happened. I got a dining room full of guests out there and no entertainment. That's what's happened. Not only will he never work in the mountains, he'll never sell me another act, and I'll tell my friends in a hotel business not to buy an act from him and from the mountains, he'll be black booked. Only in the valleys when you see it. Well, well, I know he was on his way up here. Sure he was coming up here with three tires, one pancake, and an empty trunk. He got a flat tire and didn't have a spare. Oh, thank you, Mr. Interpreter. What are you to him? If you're blood to him, I'll kill you instead of him and fulfill the curse. <laughs> Cats not have entertainment on a Friday night. Mr. Cats, you've got entertainment. I'm his partner. Partner? What partner? He never told me about a partner. Yeah, well, I'm his partner. I'm Anne Marie. Huh. And what's this? Well, I'm... Hey, he's a stand-in. Go on, Mr. Katz. Just introduce us. We're ready. What are you talking about? Oh, go on, sir. Just say Sandy Stone. What? They don't know. They've never seen him yet. Sandy could be a girl. Sandy girl. Sandy... You better be good. That's all I'm telling you. Or death stalks the mountains. <laughs> oh, Donald, we've got to help Sandy out. You've seen the act a million times. Go on. Go get a seat in the audience. You do my part and I'll do Sandy's. Oh, Donald, please. We've got to help him. Go on, Ladies and gentlemen... It gives me great pleasure to present to you tonight the star of our show tonight, Miss Sandy Stone. Thank you very much, Mr. Katz. It certainly is a pleasure being here again for the first time. I think it's one time too many. <laughs> uh, hey. Uh, I, uh, I really am delighted to be here. As a matter of fact, I almost didn't get here at all tonight. Sure. Our luck, you made it. <laughs> well, the, uh, the, uh, the, the reason that I almost didn't get here was, well, the roads were awful, and then I hit a pile of traffic. It, it should have been the other way around. <laughs> hey, dummy, you want to keep your mouth shut? <laughs> sir, sir, uh, thank you so much, but, uh, I can handle the hecklers. A young man, young man, if you've got something to say, would you come up here on stage? Near you? Have you had your shots? <laughs> no, no, wait, 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 wait. Hey! Cats may not be an actor, but from show business, he knows, huh? I mean, a pretty little girl sitting out in the audience yelling at a big mouth on stage is funny. But a big mouth sitting out in the audience taking pot shots at a pretty little girl on stage is not. Yeah, I guess you're right. But the act did go over once you went out and explained what we were doing. Well, go over it didn't. Get by it did. You're gonna give Sandy another chance, aren't you? Why not? On a Wednesday night, Friday or Saturday, he'll wait a little bit. <laughs> You'll come back with him? Oh, uh, no thanks. I'm really an actress, not a comedian. And you, stand in. What about you? Well, I'm giving up the stage too, Mr. Katz. Actually, I'm giving up the audience. <laughs> Smart move. <laughs> Listen, next time you come back here, you'll be a guest of Cats, huh? Thanks. <laughs> Toodaloo. Bye-bye. Well, are you through with all of this now? Definitely. Sandy was on his way up here to do it alone. He's got his confidence back. He doesn't need me anymore. Perfect. Come on, let's drive home. Are you sure you can see well enough with your eye? Well enough. And when we get home, you can kiss it and make it better. Well, I certainly hope so for my sake. And I just want to say that I've seen a lot of shiners in my time, but that one is definitely without a doubt. And let me say this. No. No. Well, no. sure, that's easy no. for you to say. Well, let me just say no. this. I don't believe it. I really do not believe it. Well, Donald, we have to pay it or I'm going to get thrown out of my union. Who ever heard of paying for a black eye? Let me see that thing again. Dear Miss Marie, we understand you perform with a partner at such and such and such, 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 and since he's not a member of the union either, you or he uh, brought up on charges. Are you going to pay it? No, I'm not going to pay it. Why should I join the union? I did one job. Oh, yeah, well, if you work again, they get you more money. The one job I did, I didn't enjoy. Well, when you're out of work, they have a loan fund. Not only didn't I enjoy it, I hated doing it in the first place. And they have a great sickness and accident fund. Where do I sign? <laughs> <laughs>